The weather here outside is frightful. All of a sudden, he ain't acting spiteful. It's cause he got no place to go. Needs a home, needs a home, needs a home. Hey, welcome back, OG fam. You see the title, Hobo Season 2024 is in full effect. Hide your keys, hide your purse. Matter of fact, hide your house. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what a hobo sexual is, I got you. A person comes to visit you and wants to stay and live with you and start a relationship because they're homeless. You heard me, homeless. Come be down with me, be all the way down with me. Get from round, please. Now come here, let me see how I go. So today's video is just a friendly reminder what to be mindful of and what to look out for this hobo season. Now, if you're new, welcome to you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the vibes. Let's get into the video. Y'all need to keep your eyes open and be vigilant because you know what season it is. Tis the season, okay? You're gonna start getting them text messages. You're gonna start getting phone calls and it's gonna be like, I miss you. I love you. Where you been as stranger? I miss you. You don't, don't do it. He ain't chilly outside. He ain't even got a car to drive around and he ain't got no couch to lay his head on. And he's hungry. Don't you let that man come up in <laughs> your hungry. house. Don't you dare let him back in your house. <laughs> Cause he ain't going nowhere. He gonna be there all the way until about February. February. March. You do realize mm -hmm. that this is not a relationship. You have a homeless person living with you and mooching off of you. It's not a loving, caring, balanced, equal relationship where two partners are giving and participating. It is a one-sided relationship with a homeless person. This homeless person is squatting in your house, making your life miserable, making it impossible for you to find any peace or happiness, and you're paying for it, literally with money. You go to work every day and earn money so that this person can stay home, work on their grandiose, outrageous, stupid fucking business ideas that we all yes. know are not ever gonna fucking make it off the ground. And you pay money for that every month. Let me tell you something, ladies. This season is hobosexual season. Now, hobosexual season starts between fall and winter time. This is the man that be needing a place to stay and they gonna use your place. Well, let me tell you something. This is signs of the hobosexuals out here. Now, the first sign is that his mama if you have any type of connection with his mama and his mama may say oh he is such a good catch he good but he live at home in her basement she tried to get rid of him try to make a mama at the church you be thinking old church is so safe and everything like that but don't be safe if you meet her at the grocery store and stuff like that and she's talking about oh she got a good son and all this stuff homosexual <laughs> don't be messing with him okay next sign is that they got them dirty white uh, tennis shoes and stuff like that don't mm -mm. That's not the dirty white the homosexual then if they got the target teeth okay first off i want to know where you met somebody with the damn target teeth in the first place <laughs> where is your friends where is your group of people that you meet somebody that got the damn target teeth and then if you go to the grocery store with somebody okay they got the homosexual tendencies if you go into the store and they know they how to like the basket pack the car mm -hmm. okay don't act like you don't know what that possibly mean i don't need to break that down for you i'm trying to help you out with your bills so your bills don't get all high and stuff like that your heat don't get high because of these homosexuals i don't know who needs to hear this but that man that told you he loved you and he only been knowing you for two weeks lying baby anytime somebody moving fast with you like that they got a whole bunch of nothing going on ain't got no car or he ain't got nowhere to live and he looking for you to help him get on his feet you done gave that ooch coochie up now you all in your feelings and he done ghosted your ass now, don't keep letting nobody make no fool out of you baby girl funky big back dogs know what they gotta do to get Not you the where they funky you. big back dogs lady, but hear me when i say this <laughs> what i just witnessed down at the walmart I gotta start using cannot that. be happening okay i just saw a young lady at the key kiosk getting a key made while this man stands behind her and hugs her just like they do at tax refund season when they're watching you pay for stuff we are mm -hmm. in the midst of hobo sexual season and there has been an uptick of keys being made absolutely not that man needs his own residence do you hear yep. me i don't care if it curves to the side i don't care what he does with his mouth he cannot seek asylum at your home he needs his own place his own job, his own things, okay? We are not in the real estate business. We are not fixing up Negroes. If you had another Bags. place to lay your head, a warm bed with three meals a day, you would not be with the person you're with right now. The cost of living is high. You know that if you left this person, you just might be homeless. Come on, let the church say, what? Your vessel is empty and you're with this person so that they can fill it up. You're a leech. You're a leech. You're broke and you're no good. PSA to the people who are housing potential houseless people. Figure out if this person really wants to be with you because they love you or if you're really 
only their landlord. You know, recently mm. I heard one of my mutuals say that a man will live with a woman and expect to pay nothing, but when a woman lives with a man, he wants her to split the bills 50-50. Like that part. men think they can just live with you and just stay with you for absolutely nothing. Right. So the only woman that's going to cook, clean, do your laundry, and take care of you is your mother. Mm. So why don't you take that duffel bag and head to her house? Oh, Facts. A hobosexual is a person who only dates you in a relationship with you or befriends you. They need a companion or they start a friendship with you because they need a place to stay. And whose place do they want to stay in all the time? Yours. Yours. They usually come up with a sob story in hopes that you will feel sorry and feel bad for them because they don't want to go back home. They have issues. They don't get any privacy. They got mommy issues. They're not getting attention. They got daddy issues. They were abandoned. So they're going to go find someone and like use them. They move at an accelerated pace. Like... There needs to be multiple talking stages. You have to really know a person to let them come live with you. They also are in between jobs. They can't keep a job or they don't want to work because they want to live off the system or mm. finesse the system. But they show up to your house with their stuff, like a bag. They're social predators. They go for specific types of people that have places of their own. We are in the hobo sexual season. Mm -hmm. This is the time of year where men will looking for the sucker that will allow them to come and sleep in their home and be warm and eat their food, eat their kids snacks until <laughs> about the end of February. Hide your house, hide your apartment, hide your condo, hide your attic, hide Not your the attic. She hide included anywhere the attic. <laughs> that you are laying your head in comfort act like you do not have it okay a hobosexual will come to you and love bomb you honey he is going to be he's they're usually very good looking and they usually have great packages between their legs and they know how to use them because that's literally the only thing they have to offer which is why they actually depend on you actually allowing them to come in. They need you to let them allow them to come in so they can show you that skill so you become digmatized. Don't do it and don't say nobody didn't tell you. Listen, I know we're not supposed to judge, but I be judging y'all when y'all say that y'all struggling and y'all got a whole ass man. Like, I'm not saying that he's supposed to pay all your bills because, you know, that's unrealistic in this economy. But I'm talking about, like, basic, like, putting gas in your car. And the crazy part is some of y'all don't be having gas in your car because you letting him ride around in your car all day. Yeah. You mean you can't afford to go to brunch with the girlies because you, you ain't got no money. You don't get paid till next week. Bitch, we can find a bottomless brunch for $60. This That, that jigger can't slide you $60? No, Goofy, I'm judging. If you want to be a sugar mama, and you want to be on that Stella got her groove back, more power to you. You can't be taking care of these men while you struggling no. to make ends. Don't do it. Like, that's just, that, that just don't make sense. Ladies, if y'all want to survive men out here, you have to understand that at the lowest form, y'all, nature is doing what nature does. And women are being hunted for survival, right? That's why men are so quick to put a baby in you with no kind of commitment or anything else, right? Because I really think y'all, like this whole baby mama culture, I, I think it's y'all beyond that. Like, we're just not choosing the right men. Like, I get it, like mistakes, like you be in love and everything. You be with your little boyfriend. I get it. I get it, y'all, that there's a pattern that women need to stop doing. But at the same time, y'all there's no consequence for men impregnating you nobody no nope. stop me not even men can stop me so there's no kind of control over men but religion and men are starting to not even give a fuck about religion they so once the there is no more god to like put a control over these men and say hey you know because you're a man these are the things that you're not supposed to do baby chaos will fucking ensue now that we're all starting to see y'all this society is really starting to crumble and men are dropping out the workforce and everything else honey that means honey that you need to be on guard. Can't fall for just the okie doke and everything else and giving somebody a place to stay. See, I told y'all, no lies detected. Hobo season is full in full effect. So if you ain't know, now you know. <laughs> Well, y'all, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure if you're not a part of the fam that you press the subscribe button. And as always, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to spend this time with me. And I thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I like to call it a passion.